All right, so let's talk about what you need to follow along with this course on Divi Machine. There are some absolute requirements that you need and there's other ones that will be completely optional for you. What you do need is a WordPress install. Now you can have this on a local machine using something like Local by Flywheel, or you could have that on your web host. That's entirely up to you. Our preferred host of choice is gonna be Cloudways, but you use whatever is comfortable to you. Next, you'll need a Divi license. If you don't have a Divi license yet, we will definitely provide you with an affiliate link where you can go ahead and purchase Divi for you to use in this course. And also to touch on the hosting environment, we'll be linking an article in the course notes here for you that you can follow along to set up that on a local machine in case you don't have a web host yet. Now, you also need an active Divi machine license. And if you don't have one yet, depending on how you purchased or came by the course, you might have gotten it included, or maybe you don't have one yet. We definitely recommend the Divi Engine membership, which is great value for money, which will give you all the other plugins that we make here at Divi Engine, as well as the other courses. Huge benefit there, and it will allow you to take things further with those last two modules. And that brings me to my next point. Optionally, you can get Divi Machine accounts. Now, what does Divi Machine accounts get you? It will get you the section of the course where we're going to be allowing users to manage their posts from the My Account page as opposed to logging into the WordPress dashboard. Just a much better user experience. The users get to see what you want them to see and how you want them to see it. And then secondly is gonna be the Divi Form Builder, which is also one of our plugins, which will allow your users to submit and edit their posts from the front end. So you don't have to deal with the clunky WordPress dashboard. You can just fully utilize whatever you want them to see how beautifully you want them to see it. And I think you're gonna be surprised by the awesome things you can do by extending this course with those two plugins. Requirement that you do have for the site is the Advanced Custom Fields plugin, but luckily that one is free. You can just download that from the WordPress repository and we will definitely help you with that if you need any help on that Discord channel, or you can just submit a ticket but we're here to help you out. Now, we also assume that you've got some familiarity with WordPress and Divi, but you don't need it but absolutely would be a plus if you do know a little bit. But if you don't, don't worry. If you've got the membership, or maybe if you don't, check out the Divi Basics course that we offer here at Divi Engine and the courses area. We definitely recommend that if you're brand new to Divi, just getting started, or maybe you've never, never touched Divi before and never heard of it, this is gonna ground you on how to find certain settings to make your life a lot easier when doing this course. So guys, Coming up, we're gonna talk a little bit more about Divi Machine and why it's such a powerful tool in your belt when building sites with Divi and the amazing things you'll do. I'll catch you there in a minute.